Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight, huge news. As many of you know, Harry Potter and the entire universe is coming to a streaming service near you. Now, uh, we've got a lot of news on this to report, a lot of good stuff to dive into. Oak, why don't you take it away? Yeah, so recently we did a video, uh, myself, Mason Quinn, and the answer who would have loved to have been here tonight, unfortunately couldn't make it. We wanted to get this content out for you right away, so we're doing it sans our anchor, the answer. But yeah, so recently we did a video talking about the news coming out that was speculating that there may be a new <laughs> Harry Potter TV series either on Warner Bros. new streaming service or on HBO. Uh, we got very excited just because of the amazing job that HBO has been doing with all of their content lately. But today we got confirmation. It it's is official. not just rumors. It's not just whispers. There is a <laughs> new Harry Potter series coming and we're gonna take a look at this article now we wanted to take it right from the source so this is from wizardingworld.com a lot of news outlets reporting on this late breaking news but again we wanted to pull it right from wizardingworld.com so we're going to take a look at this article first ever harry potter television series ordered by new streaming service max uh, a new scripted harry potter television series is coming the series will be a faithful adaptation of J.K. Rowling's original Harry Potter books, marking a momentous new chapter for the Wizarding World. Here's everything we know so far. Mason Quinn, okay. I'm going to take a pause right there. Yeah. So one of the biggest concerns that we had when we talked about the original news of the TV series possible uh, remake was that... Is it going to be, you know, a little bit different than the books? I believe the term they used was that J.K. Rowling was going to have, you know, input, but there may be creative differences mm -hmm. or something along those lines. And that got a lot of people worried. Yeah, you know, it seems like our... Our whole reaction we did before <laughs> to the last news is completely out the door here because as many of you were probably excited to see, when I see faithful adaptation, that puts me at ease. That lets me know that, hey, this isn't going to be some jumbled up mess of different stories and maybe uh, some writer or producer over at uh, Max now has an idea to do something a little bit different. We're going to be sticking to the source material, it looks like. Today, it was revealed at Warner Bros. Discovery Max streaming press event that the Harry Potter books are to be adapted into a new TV series. Okay. So yes, they're, really. <laughs> so they're having their big launch for a new service. They want to make some waves. What do they do? They say we're going to have a Harry Potter series basically anchor this service. Absolutely. It goes on to say the news comes in tandem with the announcement that U.S. streaming giant HBO Max will soon become Max and the new Harry Potter television series will be a Max original when it launches in the U.S. Of course, wherever you are in the world, you'll find out soon enough how you can watch the series in your territory too. Now this is interesting. So as it was revealed at the Warner Bros. Discovery Max streaming press event, then goes on to say HBO Max will soon become Max. Uh, in the original article that we hit did, there was talks of maybe it being the flagship uh, series for Warner Bros., mm -hmm. maybe HBO Max. Now it seems as if Warner Bros. Discovery Max is going to be HBO Max, is going to become Max. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're all so tied in together. You know, who even knows what owns what anymore? But again, using the world of Harry Potter to be the linchpin to your new uh, rebranded service. Certainly not a bad move. Pretty solid idea. Okay, the new adaptation will introduce you to a new cast for a new generation of fandom and will be full of fantastic detail, much loved characters, and dramatic locations we have loved for over 25 years. Each season will be authentic to the original books okay. and bring Harry Potter and his incredible adventures to new audiences around the world. I'm going to take another pause here because, look, it, it opened up with saying a faithful adaptation. Now we're getting another sentence that I'm going to nitpick. Each season will be authentic to the original books. Yep. Again, it seems like they're really hammering home the fact <laughs> that this, look, we're not going to get creative with the story. What yep. you read 
in the books is what you're going to be getting mm -hmm. in the television series. And they're making that, again, a yep. very clear point. That's very important that you say that, Oak, that it's going to be from the books because now I have not had a chance to read the books yet. Uh, maybe eventually I'll get there on the Audible, but I've only seen the movies. So I can see where if you've only seen the movies, you're a little skeptical thinking, well, how are they going to stretch out, you know, six, seven, eight episodes, uh, you know, to make this work. But the fact that it's the books, we got to remember how much source material is there. So I like that they have that in there. Yeah. And, and I think it's really important that we discuss at least for a minute. One of the, the things that I guess people were leery of is like, it was such a perfect story. It was such a perfect cast. Daniel Radcliffe was Harry Potter. Oh. Emma Watson was Hermione Granger <laughs> and so on and so forth. And the answer brought up in our original t discussion about this potential series, like who is Batman? Is it Michael Keaton? Is it Adam West? Who was the first? Is it it's Christian Bale? Who was Batman? And it really struck when answer said that who was yeah. Batman? Is it Adam West? Is it Michael Keaton? Yep. Is it Christian Bale? And for as much as we love Daniel Radcliffe in order to tell this story properly, we do need to have a new younger cast. But as we discussed, was the magic of Harry Potter was a huge part of that, you know, that that nostalgia that people have. Wasn't it growing up with the cast? And isn't that a good thing so. that we're getting a young new cast? I think that's important mm -hmm. to young fans who are going to start watching Harry Potter along or being around the same age as these, these you know, the, the new actors, yep. but also for parents who have kids that are that age. Uh, mm -hmm. We talked about that so many times, the magic of being able to grow yep. up with these kids. And that is going to be something that's out there, not just for a new generation of parents, or rather kids, but also for a new generation of parents. Yep. And I think there's going to be a massive amount of pressure uh, on these young actors. Boy, I wish them nothing but the best, but there's there, of course, will be a lot of pressure. However, again, HBO is behind it. Look, they were able to take a video game, The Last of Us, and make it into an incredible series. That has really never been done before. Video game adaptations rarely work. They were able to do it. They're behind this. JK will be involved. So I'm excited and I can't wait to see uh, the new actors that we we learn with, or we, we grow with rather, and get to see them kind of go through their adventure. And look, I think it'll work because like Answer was saying, whether it, you make a Batman analogy to it or a Superman analogy, uh, the character is who the character Even is. Even somebody if, like James Bond. Yeah. And if the yeah. actor can portray that, I think it works. Now, one interesting thing that I did want to bring up um, that Look, they mentioned multiple times that they want to stay true to the books. Twice so far in the article yes. and reading a couple yep. of paragraphs. Now, um, for those of you who follow the channel, followed our Potter content, know that I, um, of course, watched all the movies and I went back and started with the audiobooks. Um, I'm through Prisoner of Azkaban. My original intent was to go bing, 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 bing. But um, we're doing my reviews of the audiobooks kind of along with these lives that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And in the interest of having it kind of be fresh, when we schedule one of our lives and Diamond Dave puts that out, hey, we're going to be going live. I'm diving right into the audiobooks so it can be fresh. Mm -hmm. But in the first two audiobooks, I learned that the physical characteristics of some of the actors that we had and that we you know grew to to love were not exactly the same as the physical descriptions we saw in the book now you'll forgive me if i'm a little bit off but i believe um you know dudley i think was supposed to be blonde and not brown hair uh ron weasley uh if i remember was supposed to be taller and a little bit lankier almost like the twins the were brothers yeah. um you know i think um you know uh harry potter's eye color was a little bit different in the books um but there's uh, there's a handful of differences snape if i recall correctly in the book was uh, in his early 30s 32 or 33 alan rickman at the time was in his 50s so it'll be interesting to see whether they try to cast people who look exactly like the characters yep. that we loved from the original movies or whether they are going to do as they say here and stay closer to what um, 
you know, what we saw in the books. So that'll be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Continuing on, uh, the Harry Potter books were first adapted for the screen back in 2001, paving the <laughs> path for what would become a beloved eight film series that we still celebrate today. They will always be at the heart of the magic, but we are excited to hear we will have the opportunity to relive these stories in exciting new ways. Casey Bloys, chairman and CEO of HBO and HBO Max content, described Harry Potter as a cultural phenomenon. He went on to say, we are delighted to give audiences the opportunity to discover Hogwarts in a whole new way. He said, Harry Potter is a cultural phenomenon, and it is clear that there is such an enduring love and thirst for the wizarding world. In partnership with Warner Bros. Television and J.K. Rowling, this new Max original series will dive deep into each of the iconic books that fans have continued to enjoy for all these years. Uh, J.K. Rowling, who will serve as an executive producer. That's key. That's Executive key. producer said of the news, no. Max's commitment to preserving the integrity of my books <laughs> they keep hammering is that important <laughs> to me. And I'm looking forward to being part of this new adaptation, which will allow for a degree of depth <laughs> and detail only afforded by a long um, format television okay. series. That last paragraph right there packs a lot of yeah. really important information. Yeah. This is the third time in what is a relatively short article where they've <laughs> really said yep. it's going to be the books. Preserving the integrity of my books. Yes. And I think if you were going to pull one paragraph out of this whole article to show to somebody who's a massive Harry Potter fan, that would be the one that I would grab. That essentially seems to give you all the details you need. JK is involved, executive producer. It's going to be faithful to the books. And the depth and detail, I mean, a number of you in the comments of our uh, Harry Potter reactions commented on that saying there's so much detail and there's so much more in the books well it looks like we're going to finally get to see some of that yeah now one of the interesting things that she um, or rather jk rowling um had mentioned that they talk about in this particular article is we look forward to being part of this new adaptation which will allow for a degree of depth and detail mm -hmm. only afforded by long format television series now as somebody who watched the movies and you know once i got into them um you know i had my own character arc from uh, okay kids movies to <laughs> Yeah, you know, I when I started the books, I'm like, wow, like I felt like the movies did a good job, but there was so much detail in the books. Now, the curious thing for me is a lot of the detail in the books, as I've shared in our lives and I've shared with you guys, is inner monologue, yep. almost like a narrator. Like I, we remember, I believe it was in Chamber of Secrets, you know, um, Dumbledore kept asking Harry, is there something you want to tell me? And we're like, tell him, he's going <laughs> to help you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we didn't understand it. And then when I go back in the books, and, and again, it's been a minute, so please forgive me if I'm a little bit off, but I believe in the books, it was like, as Harry stood there, you know, trembling and nervous on the inside, thinking of, you know, all the reasons why he didn't trust adults. And it was like, when I was listening to the audio books, um, Jim Dale, by the way, amazing with the audio books here. Um, I was like, well, now it makes sense. Yep. Um, so that, um, I love the fact that we're going to get new detail. I agree 100% that you really can't take these books and, and put them on the screen in, in a way that's going to give you everything from the books, unless it's long format like this. Look, nobody's Absolutely. sitting through a seven or eight hour movie, but if you're telling me that, uh, there's like, you know, we don't know if it's going to be six or eight or 10 episodes, yeah, per. but it, look, if it's six or eight or 10 episodes and they're all an hour long, um, I'm. Look, we're going to do them for the channel. Uh, oh, if we sure. weren't doing them for the channel, I would be binging them. Yeah. I would be taking a Saturday <laughs> and I wouldn't leave the house. I don't think you're going to be able to binge them because they're going to be on HBO Max. Oh, and I bet they're going to do weekly wow, drops. HBO, I didn't even think yeah, about so that. So it's going to be stretched oh, out. Oh, well, that's yeah. a very interesting thing because as we know, Netflix sometimes does this drop. People binge them. Yep. HBO Max. Uh, you know, one at a time it makes you wait, really yep. creates I anticipation. think you enjoy it more personally. I do think you enjoy it more yeah. too. So, well, <laughs> that, <laughs> that is all we it. have for you so far, but we're sure that there's plenty more for you to be getting on with. And if this news has got you in the mood for Harry Potter movie marathon, check out Wizarding World. They're going to let you know where yeah. to find all those. Of course, you can find our reactions on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, full watch long format and uh, some early releases on Patreon, but those have been out for uh, a minute. But if you do like full watch long formats, mm -hmm. those are, uh, of course, on Patreon. So, so this is really exciting news. Yep. Uh, I think they've answered a lot of the big questions, which are, 
Is it going to stay true to the book? And they've said that multiple times that it will. So and, I think and we're what safe. Is, and what is J.K. Rowling's involvement going to be? Again, they were a little sketchy on it originally. Oh, she's going to kind of be involved. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, some input, but they're going to take creative, you know, liberties or whatever. Yeah. Uh, this is like, nope, we're uh, the integrity, <laughs> uh, you know, faithful to the mm -hmm. books, the detail of the books. And oh, by the way, she's also an executive producer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not uh, that involved in the world of Film. I don't know how much uh, input uh, an executive producer has on the storyline, but the way they make it sound here, she's going to have quite a bit of an input and they know, look, these fans want the stories. You know, when they first, when they first, sh you know, showed um, Dumbledore uh, coming to, to Privet, Privet Lane, you know, it was like, it was a cold and, and dark night on Privet Lane and the people were about, and, you know, there's so much really fun detail in the books mm -hmm. that, um, Look, they can add everything in from the book and, and put it on screen, but there's no really way to to get that emotion It'll when somebody's when somebody's reading that to you, mm -hmm. you're watching it and you feel it. I would love for them to have a narrator, but if they don't, um, I'm, I'm you know, sure, I'm they sure the they're going to do a good job with it. Yeah. I'm ex I'm just excited for all the detail. I'm really curious to see some of the differences um, that we had between the books and the original movies. Uh, and whether they are a little bit, you know, truer to the story. Look, there is, again, I think they did a phenomenal job with the books. Uh, in in listening to the audio books, there was a handful of things where I would have liked that to have been included. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if they're going to change that. If you are somebody who's wondering what some of the main differences are, and you're looking for condensed information on that, uh, Movie Flame, he's the guy to go to. He has yeah. done amazing videos for all the books, saying here's the difference between the books and the movies. And just in general, Movie Flame has a ton of great Harry Potter content. I think I'm most curious as to whether Hagrid is going to be the true. I think he was 11 or. 12 feet tall in the books <laughs> and like that was a big thing because in the movies we saw him obviously tower over the children but not like 11 or 12 feet tall right and another thing that i think is really interesting to, to consider is like we're at 2023 you know whenever it comes out 2024 2025 technology as far as cgi as far as all that other stuff now look these books came out what 2001 to 2011 over a 10-year period um you know the the three-headed monster what was that oh. uh, fl fl was it fluffy i <laughs> i look i i should know this um <laughs> It's, 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 gonna been, be it's been a year. Excellent. The three-headed monster, a little, eh, you know, for 2001, it was good. But I, I really feel like, um, you know, there's a lot of things they're going to be able to do a great job with. You know, some of the scenes that, that jump out to me, of course, Hagrid, uh, you know, uh, Draco Malfoy with, with Buckbeak. And uh, that's as far as I got as Azkaban. But when you learn there was a bunch of hippogriffs, it wasn't just Buckbeak. Yeah. You know, Malfoy made it like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to die, you know. The, the last thing that I'm going to throw out is kind of addressing some of the... Um, some of the people who are saying, look, don't do it, don't do it. The movies were good enough and the books are perfect. And I, I guess the analogy that, that I want to throw out to you, Quinn, is is it not kind of like an extended version of the movies like when we look when we watch our favorite movie and we find out there's the editor's cut or yeah. the extended version we just like you know just chomp at the bit for those extra 20 or 30 yeah. minutes because we want to see what's out there and for the people who are like no the movies are perfect look i trust that hbo is going to do a great job with them and not only do i think we're going to get the extended version we're getting like the super extended cut I'm excited about a new cast. I mean, if if you had to talk to somebody who's like, uh, I don't, I don't want it. I, we leave it alone. What what are you saying to them? I think you just say if you're a fan of all things Harry Potter, I don't see how you don't want more content. Like, look, nobody's taken the original movies away. They're, the original books aren't going away. The original movies aren't going away. You'll always have those. Um, I recommend buying on DVD, so you for sure always have them, regardless of your streaming service. But look. That stuff's always going to be there. And now we're maybe we're finally going to get to dive in a little bit more with, you know, some of the stories that people wanted. We saw a ton of fan made movies that people did an excellent job with on YouTube. We did reactions to a few of them. And I just think it's it's more content. I don't see how you lose. I'm going to finish up with saying this. We are getting a brand new generation of kids who are going to be able to grow up with Harry Potter 
and parents who are going to be able to watch their children grow up Harry with Harry Potter. And to me, that, ladies and gentlemen, that's magic. Yep. It's going to be awesome. And we're going to be taking that ride with all of you. So for the Appleton Oak, I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine. We will see you back on the next one.